Old school. Old school. Old school. Mostly that wide. Nobody goes that wide. I've never Nobody seen goes it. that wide. I've never seen it. Nobody goes behind actually. the neck anymore. Behind the neck bullets? Yeah. Behind the neck bullets? I mean, mine were behind the neck. I know you can't tell because my head wasn't getting that high, but I was going behind the neck. Yeah, I didn't love it. <laughs> <laughs> a fanny pack on? Oh! I can't believe it. <laughs> Ridiculous. He's beating us already. Holy shit, look at the width. Finish is strong. Oh, woo, woo. Good. It's not as hard as it looks. Over there. It's not as hard as it looks. Come on. Look at nice. that. Come on. Nice. Come, Come on. on. Come on, beast. Oh, yeah. 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 Instead of it being flat, I'd like to pop it all the way back. It's just almost like you're posing the back. Right. Wait, let's see that one more time. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Looks like you've done that once or twice. One of the things we're talking about is stretching out the side of the bench. Um, so Tom, Pops did it, Tony Pearson, all those kind of guys back in the day. We like over our toes and then put it on the bench but both ways the more range of motion the better this is like incredible for a, a great stretch Like swinging, using more. You're strong, dog. I 
get a little excited. I feel that good. You become one of the live guys. <laughs> you want to grow? We got to grow. Wide guys, I got the wide guys. See, he has a vintage freaking stringer right here. That's right. Uh, old school, okay? Yep. I'm old school. Huh? Huh? Come on. Come on. Come Come on, that's good, Joe. Come on, that's good, Joe. He said it forces you to do a moderate weight and understand the whole thing, the movement. Yeah. Because everybody comes in and goes, I just want to do it over there. That's all that matters. And it's like, if you learn this first, then go over there, that heightens. Because there's such a you know, great stretch here. Yeah, coming down all the way. Up. Well, a lot of people will talk about how much a barbell row, in the traditional sense, will hurt their lower back, right? And it's because they're stabilizing that through the range of motion they know. If you spend time doing this, your range of motion is twice as big as that. And so obviously you're going to be able to stabilize so much better on the shorter range of motion if you can do this comfortably and easily. That's confusing to the beginning, but that's, that's true. This is moving the body through the full range of motion of the back. So it's like forward to keep a healthy back. Right. And then I got this is 400 pounds. But you are. Holy cow. Your back's strong enough to do anything. But the point is, learn it, face it, and then go to that. Where everybody just comes in and goes to that. Yeah. And they right. do that wrong. And then they do that wrong. And they do like yeah. 315. Like, I'm so strong. It's like. From here? Yeah. <laughs> The fatties, not those. The fatties. Then, uh, Doctor first. Oh, you want to go first? Come on, Doc. It is an Arnold one. Is that actually? No. <laughs> Right? Who's drinking little almond almond? Nobody knows that. Let's go. Come on, dog. Come on, Pete. Oh, yeah. Woo! Come on. Nice, no hits. Doc. No hits. Nice, Doc. 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 Usually. Um, we're both freaking hyped. So it's gonna be a tie here. Um, so we're gonna let Joseph lead the workout. Um, but again, the only reason I'm saying that is someone has to bring the energy to the workout. If the other guy's tired and dieted down, you bring the workout. You ready? Vice versa. Let's go, dog. I'm just you because you're not doing nothing. <laughs> nice. Two. Come on. Three. Four. Come on. Ah. Nice kid. Oh. Oh. Strip, 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 strip. One. Alright. I'll make this clear. He wanted to go two plates. I'm gonna stop him because he hasn't done this before. No need just to. keep it at one plate today. Um, we're gonna perfect the craft. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So what's, what's the big difference with some, yeah. some made that yeah. That's a good question. That's a good question. Come on. Reach for it. Reach for it down there. The bottom stretch. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Okay. 
guys like Doug would use it at the peak one or two sets but I like not doing it because I don't want to have wrist or elbow nerve issues later I want to be able to manhandle this go ahead I just want to add and one of the biggest things is grab my hand and shake it oh no thumb shake the hand okay yeah have to have a hole right instant yeah fires right up okay. so that's the biggest thing and most simple way to talk about it is that you gotta grab that bar and bend it like it's a guy. Right. Break your shoulders. Okay. Have you I don't know why I, uh, I've heard a lot about keeping the thumbs out so that you're not activating your forearms and brachialis so much and that you're just targeting the back instead of. It's a great point, but if your brachialis isn't prepared to handle what your back is targeting, it's gonna be the weak point. Say that again? If your brachialis isn't condition to hold the weight that your back can pull, then you can't really do it right anyway, and it's going to always cause that tendonitis. Yeah. And then both, you're talking bodybuilding. Yeah. If they want to come in and do bodybuilding, it's great. You're tremendous. I want you lifting at 75. Right, right. At yeah. some point, you're going to go, the muscle's cool and everything. I want healthy arms and shoulders. Mm. Okay. And so, where does that weigh out with you? I just want to be jacked right now, so I'll do everything like this. But in your 20s, you set up that nervous system to be strong. If you don't play with it now, right? Two, Dougie. You know, like I use my straps. Yes, my set. But what a lot of people don't understand is you don't use your straps so you don't have to hold on. You use your straps so you can hold on to more, right? So even though I have straps on, I'm still squeezing because I want my strength plus the strap, not my not the strap strength instead of my own. So everything's still activated. Are we are we talking about lifting or your girl? Okay, cool. All right. If you see his girl, you'll understand. You might have to strap up a little bit. <laughs> Let's go. Yes. Two. Nice. Good stretch. Three. Four. Oh. Beautiful. Five. Oh. exercise prior to lifting it so you saw Kelly do his thing I can already hear the snowflakes crying he created stiffness in the back so that was strong here and then he just pulled through okay so you can do stiffness here you can do stiffness any way you want it's creating the stiffness that keeps you safe it's not the actual position it's the stiffness within the position I would use the word rigidity I can't spell rigidity. Oh. I can't even say rigidity. <laughs> I have no idea what it means. It's stiffness within tension. He doesn't know what that means either. <laughs> tension. <laughs> I swear he's an adult. I swear. I'll use that one later. <laughs> I got some stiffness on my tension. 
Go on, get it below. Get that. I think you can. Let's try. Scoot it and drop it when you're done. So this is old school. Oh, my first training partner, Tom Plaz, would take that over, stretch it down. Here, get it. Go. Come on. Nice, Dougie. Come on. Let's go. Two more. One more. Ooh, big boy. So it's the stretch of the lat, not the body. It's the lat that's stretching. So even though his knees are bent and blah, 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 and you guys are going to start, ah, incredible 305 pound guy stretching his lat to the farthest possible that he can and then contracting back. Here we go. Up, boys. One, two. Take it, stand up. All the way up, help him. Okay. Slow. Slow, slow, slow. That's all you can do inside. Yes. Good. Nice, Good. Joseph. Out in front, out in front. Good. 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 It's really the stretch what? that's like the big game changer. Because now I feel like the whole back is stretching and not just the upper part Keeping of the lat. Yeah. Can you see how that would be longevity? Working through the oh, whole yeah. range of motion of an exercise, the proper position of the back, rotation back, rotation forward. The whole posterior chain is just getting activated. So, so if you continue to do that. Oh yeah. The longevity, the longevity, it's, it's, it's training you for the long run. It's training you for the long run, so it's even better. I mean, I love it. I haven't done these yet, so it's really exciting. I like the heat shot. There we go.